Hello beautiful people and welcome to your weekly guidance with me Julie Paul. This is for the week of the 11th of October 2021. Alrighty, everything you need to know is in the description box below including how to book in with me, whether you want a healing session, an energy session, coaching session or a reading. The readings I do by the way, I do live readings and I do uh, pre-recorded readings. So if you're in a very difficult time zone to get to me because I'm in the UK, you can have a pre-recorded video reading specifically to you. But if you're able to book a live session, the link is below. There's a diary, a calendar system, you book yourself in to suit you, then that is there and really easy to use. So I hope that helps. Anything else I need to tell you? Yeah, this is good for your sun, moon, rising and Venus. We're going to do a general reading for the collective first and then we're going to go into a short reading for each of the 12 signs. Anything else I need to tell you, get yourself a cup of tea, get yourself a coffee. I've got water today because I'm coffeeed out. Um, anything else? Um, no, I think that's it. Oh yeah, there is. There is something else, which is that your annual 2022 general readings are now available on my website. Link is below. And the love readings are now all done. I'm just waiting for my website chap to put them on for me, which I'm hoping will be done over the next couple of days. So over the weekend, they should be live as well. Uh, oh, thank you to the uh, person who suggested I get a ring light. I've got one. Hopefully the light's a bit better. So, see, I listen to you guys. I listen. Oh, the other thing I wanted to tell you was that um, a couple of weeks ago I posted a question saying, what are your questions about the law of attraction? Um, so loads of you have answered and I will be making some videos this weekend to answer some of those questions. So keep an eye out for that. Make sure you've pressed the notification button bell thingy so that you know when I am posting. Okay, anything else I need to tell you? Uh, no. All right, so let's go into the collective message. So as I tuned in for the collective for this week of the 11th, what they showed me was the sun rising up behind a cloud. All right, so last week we had a very chaotic energy. I gave you that image of the trampoline, yeah? Being flexible, bend the knees, go into the kind of turbulence that we have. Now they're showing me, um, it's actually not a stormy cloud, it's not a big black cloud, it's quite a white fluffy cloud, but the, the sun is coming up. And what that's representing to me anyway, is the way I've, I see that, is that things are now lifting, getting lighter and brighter. So this is the last week of Mercury retrograde, but then it does go into shadow. So we're still in this energy of reflection, review, reflect, things coming back from the past, in terms of is that finished, is it unfinished business, is it something I need to review and look at, that's been a lot of that coming through as well. Um, and it's important, you know, it happens every three or four months that we go through this and it's this time if we go forward and then we stop, stand still, review, and then we go forward, stop, stand still, review. So it's all very, very useful. Don't let it frighten you, all right? Um, even, you know, Virgos and, uh, and Geminis that are Mercury-led, you know, we work with it. So don't worry about it. You'll all have a certain impact with this or be impacted by it to a certain degree. But it's useful and helpful and important. Anything else? Right, no, we're going into the messages. All right, so we're going to get the overall theme for the week from these cards, the Wisdom of the Oracle. The cards I use are listed below. So what's the overall theme for the collective, please, for this week of the 11th? Clean it up and breathe. And breathe. Okay, so cleaning it up. We knew last week was a little bit chaotic, a little bit changeable, so that is now passing through. But after a little bit of a storm, sorry, I've got itchiness going on on my nose, after a little bit of a storm, we often, you know, think about a storm, you know, it's, there's leaves everywhere, there's debris everywhere, there's a bit of a mess. So we've had a bit of a storm energy, but that's passed now, so now we're going to clean it up. So any chaos, change, stuff that you've gone through over the last week. I have a feeling to it this week, right? I've, I've, I've sorted that, I need to clean it up, clean it out, get rid of it, okay? And breathe. The breathe card is 
meditation, relax, chill out. We don't need to worry about a thing. <sighs> and breathe, and breathe, and breathe. Do it three times. The intention of I am breathing and relaxing and coming into a centered, calm place is very, very powerful. Your mind is so powerful. You know, use it to guide you, to help you, to settle you, to ground you. Okay. All right. We're good. Let's move into the messages for the collective then, please. What's the collective message for this week? Okay, we've got the Six of Swords, which makes absolute sense because we've got to clean it up. We've put that behind us. We're moving on. King of Wands, Justice, Five of Wands, the Moon, and the Fool. Okay, all right, we're going to take three cards from the Gilded as well. Tell me more, please, about this week for the collective. Now, don't be silly. That's too many. Okay. All righty. Four of Swords. That's your Anne Breathe. The High Priestess and the Star. There's a lot of power here, guys. A lot of power, right? We've got one, two, three, four, five. Five out of nine major arcana cards. Okay. So what does that mean? The Major Arcana are the really powerful, I'm telling you, you will listen. Whereas the Minor Arcana are supporting, kind of, can I just put a bit more detail into that? So the fact that we've got the Justice, the Fool, the Star in one row here with the Moon as the central energy supported by the High Priestess is talking about a lot of power this week. Mm. Okay, power for what? Let's start with the moon. Central energy, the moon. What's hidden, what's unseen, what's unknown. Um, what else do we want to say about this? Any influence of the moon? Yeah, okay. Um, there's a lot of light from the moon. They're just showing me, you know, the collective message was the sun coming up. Now they're showing me the moon, a full moon. Um, and the light that comes off the moon, we forget about. We always focus on the sun. But the moon is there to light the night sky, to light our way in the dark. Okay, that's lovely. They're just giving me these words here. To light our way in the dark, in the darkness, leading us towards our awareness, our knowledge, our information, our wisdom, our sense of knowing and sense of self, which is why it's supported underneath with the High Priestess card. So we're trusting our intuition. It's a similar energy in terms of what's hidden, what's not aware. It's it's deeper stuff, okay? Subconscious stuff, um, heart, soul, higher self stuff coming through to guide you, wanting to guide you through. So there's a lot of influence this week from our higher self, from the universe, a lot of influence to guide us into a better place. All right. So we weren't necessarily in a bad place, but when we go through change and, and shifts, which is what we had the week of the fourth, then we need a little bit of time. Yes. Okay, so the time, Six of Swords, we're moving away from difficulties, from what was a bit challenging, we're moving towards the star card, so I'm looking at the Six of Swords through the moon to the star, and the star is your hopes, your wishes, your dreams, healing, breathing, being the light, being this beautiful light being that you are, my lovely people, never forget that you are the light. You are the light, even in the dark, like the moon. Oh, there we go. That makes sense. Like the moon, you are the light in the dark. That's the words they're giving me. Comment that below. I am the light in the dark or the darkness. You are the light. The light is always present within you and you're moving through that unknown towards your light. How exciting. Coming the other way, we've got the justice, the moon and the four of swords. Justice, all about fairness and balance and equilibrium, doing the right thing, integrity, being in that space of real fairness, what wasn't fair coming into balance, what wasn't right being righted, okay? So we're coming through this 
I am the light in the darkness towards this four of swords which is very much about the breathe energy just take a step back rest recharge relax allowing allowing you to move towards the star because you've had a little bit of breathe time. Now breathe is also a meditation, connecting in with spirit, four of swords through the high priestess to the star. So when we take that rest and relaxation and meditation and connect it in with our spiritual self, our spiritual energy, our inner knowing, then we are easily guided towards that star. Coming down this way, justice, the fool and the star, a new beginning a new beginning that's fair, that's balanced, that's just, that leads me to a greater awareness of my light. It's not leading me to the light because I am the light already, but it's leading me to a greater awareness of that light my own light, my own power. We have the King of Wands through the moon to the High Priestess. King of Wands is very much about power. Power in a passionate way, in a sensual way, in a determined, dynamic way. You know, this is not a wishy-washy chap here, male or female, don't worry about the gender. This is an energy of saying, I can do it. Nothing's going to stop me. I have this determination, this resilience, this grit. I'm moving from difficult times by being very powerful towards my justice. I'm determined. Nothing's going to deter me. I'm not going to be thrown off track. So the Six of Swords, the leaving. What am I leaving behind? I'm leaving behind the Five of Wands. This argument, competition, low self-worth. You are enough, you know. You always were and you always will be. You may have forgotten for a little while, but now is the time to remember you are enough. And it doesn't matter what's going on around you. You don't have to allow it to affect you. You can rise above it. Take a step back from it. Am I getting too involved? Okay, going through the Six of Swords, Five of Wands to the Four of Swords. Am I getting too involved? I want to step back and leave it. So this can be arguments around you. You know, your children are arguing with each other. You know, your parents are falling out with each other and you're getting sucked into their drama. Don't do it. You don't need to. You don't need to, okay? Take a step back from any drama that surrounds you and allow yourself to move towards that star energy in a very new, beautiful, balanced beginning. How exciting, how lovely. And I love to see the Justice card here in the middle of the, the last week, really, of the last full week of Libra season, that this is all about that balance and harmony and fairness. And happy birthday, any Libras, by the way, for this week. So anything else I want to say about these cards? Nope, we're going to have an angel card to finish off. What's the message from the angels, please? Okay, I am beautiful. You are, you know. I am beautiful. Be in that energy of beauty. The star is me knowing I'm beautiful. Not in an arrogant, conceited, up your own ass way. But in a, I recognise the beauty within myself. I recognise my worth. I see my value and I know my worth. Mm, those words are very strong. So, I am beautiful. Be in the energy of beauty. You are the light in the darkness and you are lighting the way. All right? Beautiful. All right, my beautiful people, we're going to move into messages for each of the 12 signs now, starting with Aries. The timestamps are below and uh, I'll see you for your own particular sign. Sun, moon or rising. Okie dokie. Hello Aries, the cards are flying, they've got a lot to say. You have the Seven of Wands, the Ten of Coins, and the Judgment card. Wow, okay. Wowzers, all right, let's get another three. This is good, Aries, this is good. Tell me more for my Aries, please. Okay, we have the Six of Pentacles, the Knight of Pentacles, and the star card again. So you've had the star card twice, Aries. You are absolutely in your light and in your power to create your dreams. 
beautiful. So the Seven of Wands being rooted down by the Six of Pentacles. You are in a very assertive, strong place. Bear in mind that collective message. We had the power of the King of Wands there. You're in that energy of I know what I want and I'm not going to be a pushover and I'm not going to step back. I'm holding my ground. I'm holding my position to hold out for more. The Six of Pentacles is the more card. It's generosity. It's receiving. It's giving and receiving. That you receive so much that there's more than enough left over to be able to give to others. This is a beautiful energy of I know my worth. I know my light. I know my power. And I know what I deserve. And I deserve to receive all good things. And that receiving is very much about abundance in terms of prosperity security, stability, and that fairness and balance is coming back in as well. Ten of Pentacles, rooted down by the Knight of Pentacles, he's slow moving energy, he slow and steady wins the race. What he brings in is lasting and, and mm, permanent, permanent, not a flash in the pan, not coming and then going again, coming in. You're in this energy of abundance. It's beautiful. The Ten of Coins is also a very strong card for love. It's, it's the everything card. And that is in the middle here of this week for you. You creating this world by holding your own that is leading you to abundance and prosperity and security, which is enabling you to have a brand new beginning. The judgment card is the rebirth, is a fresh start, is a new beginning. It's also a card about looking back at the past and saying, is there anything unfinished uh, that I need to look at? Particularly, as I said, at the collective message about Mercury retrograde, you're in this energy of knowing that you're the star, that you are the light, that you are moving towards your goals and wishes and dreams. And you are in an energy of having a brand new beginning. So, Aries, this is beautiful. There's abundance here, but it's important that you hold your own. You hold your position. If you're at that point where you're just about to give up, no, you hold your position. I'm nearly there, all right? You just hold that. I am worthy and deserving of all good things. Anything else I want to say to Aries? No, we have an angel card. Tell me what the angels want to say to Aries, please inner child. Okay, Aries, you are very much in the energy of creating, imagining, imagination, being in this beautiful energy of trust for this new beginning of judgment, of rebirth. I am allowing myself to, yeah, I am allowing myself to create from a place of innocence and trust and flow that I am the star that I am allowing my inner child to be nourished and nurtured and that imagination and trust to be allowed to flow and flourish. Beautiful. All right, Aries, that is what I have for you for this week. I hope that helps. Thank you for being here. Let's move on to Taurus. Hello, Taurus. How are you, my lovely people? Let's see what we have for Taurus, please. Have you had a good week, guys? What do we have for Taurus, please? Seven of Wands again. Aries just had this. Knight of Coins again. Okay. <laughs> and the Three of Swords. All right, let's find out a little bit more. You're having to be a little bit protective this week, defending your position. Now, Three of Swords I want to know more about. Let's find out some more. Tell me more about the Seven of Wands, please. Two of Swords, uncertain. The Tower and the Eight of Pentacles. Okay, Taurus, you are working on yourself at the moment. This might have taken you some time. You might have been trying to work on old hurts and old pains, resentments, somebody, something that's let you down, disappointment in life generally, anything like that, you've been working on it. We've got the Eight of Pentacles. And it may have felt with that Two of Swords that 
I don't know if I'm ever going to get there. Two of Swords is I can't see clearly. I haven't got enough information. I don't know what's happening. I don't know where I'm going. But I just know with that Seven of Wands that I need to keep going and hold my own, hold my position. I want more security, more stability, more finance. I want a really rich, secure, stable life. And this stuff here, which is the victim energy, is actually what is holding me back from this. And this is what I need to be really strong about. The Seven of Wands is holding your space from a position of strength and power where you don't back down. So you are fixing, you are fixing this week. But the good news is with the tower that this is going to happen really quite quickly. You literally can have an aha moment where you just say, I know what I need to do now. I know what, what is happening. I am just deciding this is done now. I'm just deciding it's done. Bearing in mind the breathe card and the clean it up. This is what you are cleaning up this week, but you've got it. You've got that eight of, of pentacles, which is that working on it. I'm working on it, I'm working on it, and the tower's coming to just let it all collapse. You know, sometimes we can get to a point in life where we're just ready. We're just ready, and it just suddenly clicks and fits and happens really quickly and really easily. So allow that tower moment to help you to work through this of what needs to be cleaned up. For others of you, this can be something that's kicking off this week that's created some upset for you. There's a tower moment that is bang, hit you hard, but you're gonna clean it up, sort it out, and it's gonna be resolved. Don't forget to breathe. Don't forget to take a step back because this is shifting this week. All right, anything else I want to say about this? Nope, okie dokie. That's what I have for you, Taurus. I hope that helps. Thank you for being here. You take care. All right, let's have a look at my Geminis. Hello, Gemini. How are you? How are you coping with the Mercury retrograde? You've got this. You've got this. You've got it. All right, Gemini, please. Okay, okay. We have the King of Swords, the Knight of Swords, and the Ten of Cups. Oh, Gemini. Lovely. Let's find out some more. King of Swords. There's news here this week that's going to make you very happy. Very happy. Ten of Wands, end of struggle. Ace of Pentacles, new beginnings. Knight of Cups and Offer. All right. Okie dokie. Gemini. This is lovely. All right. You're having a good week here, guys. King of Swords rooted down by the Ten of Wands. Whatever has been a struggle, whatever has been difficult, challenging, a burden, uh, exhausting, is coming to an end this week. There's news, help, healing and support here. The King of Swords is an energy that is very... Uh, like a mentor, like somebody who's got a sharp mind, a lot of clarity, a lot of focus, air sign like you. This can be you. Don't worry if it's male or female. Um, the gender doesn't matter in a, in a general reading. But this is an energy here of I can see clearly. I know what I need to do. I can use that sword of truth and I can cut through whatever that struggle was. But I'm doing it from a place of real integrity and honesty and fairness and balance, all right? Bearing in mind the clean it up energy here and the breathe card and what we had in the collective message with all of that justice, that you are clearing something that was really heavy and hard and it's leading you to your 10 of cups. The Knight of Swords is there to support the King and the Knight is bringing in news. It's fast, It's it, it can happen literally you wake up and there's an email, there's a phone call, there's some news here that is leading you to this new beginning. The Knight of Swords with that fast action is supported with the Ace of Pentacles, a new beginning. This can be a new contract, new job, new job offer, absolutely, because King of Swords is often related to law and lawyers and contracts and legal matters. So there can absolutely be here a new job coming in for some of you because the Knight of Cups next to it, which is an offer often an offer of love but it's an offer that's going to make you really happy it's the ten of cups there is an offer here 
coming through news, good news coming through Gemini that is leading you to a really beautiful, happy place. How lovely. Let's see what the angels want to add for you. I want to be a Gemini. Well, I'm a Gemini moon. So I'll take a bit of that. I'll take a bit of that. Okay. You've got success. Yep. A lot of you here are having news relating to a job, a business, investments, love. This can be an offer of love. This is going to be successful. This is success here on the cards for you, Gemini. You've got this. This is a great week. How exciting. All right, Gemini. That's what I have for you. I hope that helps. Thank you for being here. I'll see you next time. You take care. Bye-bye. Hello, Cancer. How are you, my beautiful people? Are you having a good week? All right, let's have a look what's going on for you. What do you need to clean up? We've got the Knight of Wands, the Ten of Swords, the Ace of Cups. Yay! Yay! <laughs> let's find out some more. Let's find out some more. Knight of Wands. Let's find out some more about that Knight of Wands. My Gemini's, please. Three of Pentacles, Ten of Swords with the Hanging Man, Ace of Cups with the Ten of Pentacles. Oh, oh, Gemini, this is really good. I'm excited for you. I want the Angel card as well. Let's get the Angel card as well, please. So, well, I just pulled that out for Gemini. Success. There's a similar energy here for you. A lot of success, new beginnings prosperity, abundance, and it's been a long time coming, okay? You've got the Knight of Wands. We're taking action on career, on job, on business, on passion, um, on relationships. We're taking action related to something that is going to make me feel so empowered and fiery and ready. I am ready to go. A lot of you, this is related to a job because we have the three of pentacles, which is the teamwork, collaboration, being part of, having support. There is some news here coming in that is ending the struggle, the Ten of Swords. I've been waiting and waiting and waiting for this hanging man. I never thought it was going to come, but I've held my faith. And this is the week it is turning around. Ace of Cups rooted down by the Ten of Pentacles. Really? It doesn't get any better than this. This is a brand new beginning that is going to make you so happy, prosperous, successful, abundant, and the angels are confirming it with the success card. You are in an energy this week, Cancer, of success. So whatever it is that you are growing, waiting for, what you've been building on that didn't seem to ever hit, this is the week it's hitting. It's all happening this week of the 11th, which is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. The 11th, 11 is a master number. It is mastery. It is leadership. It is power. And it's October, which is the number 10, which comes to a one. So you've got lots of ones in here, new beginnings, a lot of energy this week for you, Cancer. They wanted me to tell you this. You are moving towards your new beginning now. The wait is over. Yay. Okay, that's what I have for you, Cancer. Thank you for being here. I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye. Alrighty, let's move on to Leo. Hello, Leo. How are you? Are you well? Have you had a good week? Been thinking about all my beautiful watchers this week and sending you a lot of energy. I don't know why. I just do. All right, Leo, please. Okie dokie. We have seven of coins, chariot, and the ten of pentacles. Oh, well, the ten of pentacles has come up for Taurus, Ge no, Gemini, Cancer, and now you. Right, there is a lot of energy here of abundance. What's the angels want to add? You're moving towards that ten of coins. You are moving towards it, my Leos. You have never alone from the angels. Let's clarify these three cards, please. Seven of coins. Tell me more about the seven of coins. You have the three of swords. The chariot is with the strength card. 
and the ten of coins is with the five of wands okay so we've got really positive energy here underpinned by some negative energy all right we can't dress it up it is what it is which is why we have the angels here saying you're never alone whenever i see this card it's like oh, i need a hug i really need a hug i need somebody to hold me there is a struggle here and i could do with some comfort now we've got the clean it up for the collective which is for you too you're part of the collective what are you needing to clean up you have that comfort so you're cleaning up we've got the three of swords the five of wands and the strength card yeah when i see the strength card is okay you're going to need to be strong this week you're going to need to put your big pants on and be tough all right we are moving forward from a place of strength chariot moving forward towards that abundance towards that success this is the everything card it's money it's security it's family it's it's everything this is our abundance our cornucopia our what we deserve this you are moving towards it from a place of strength but there is some underlying conflict five of wands which is all about arguments discourse you want one thing your partner wants another thing you can't agree there is uh, a bit of to and and froing going on but we need to come at it from a place of strength now there's some hurt here as well the three of swords i've been working on something for a long time i've been building nurturing nourishing fixing repairing and it's been a long old journey but this is the week clean it up that we can finally get rid of the last bits of hurt in our heart so that we can come at life from a place of happiness and empowerment. Think about the collective message as well. We're coming into balance and fairness and prosperity and success so this is victim energy this is me feeling so hurt that i view the world through the lens of pain and so i see pain everywhere and i've been working on it i've been working on it but this is the week i am moving away from it now away from the hurt cleaning it up breathing in my energy of comfort coming from a place of strength towards that abundance so the five of wands came out for the collective i think didn't it so this is know your worth leo know who you are and know your worth and allow that not everybody has to agree with you that you are working towards this abundance and prosperity from a place of power and that can sometimes throw things off a little bit for people around you who might not like it so just step into your power breathe and let go know when you need to say no and when you can choose to let it go over your head and when you need to push back and say uh, 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 that's not okay you are moving towards this abundance and you're doing it from a place of strength anything else i need to say about this no that's it they're fairly brief messages this week uh, which i didn't decide because i was happy to be as long as they are but this is what they are working with me they tell me how much to say and when to stop and this is why i'm stopping all right leo thank you for being here i'll see you next time hello virgo welcome thank you for being here how's your week how are you did you have a lovely lovely september we are now middle of october now don't be silly okay all right let's talk let's talk for my virgos what have we got to say to my virgos please okay we have the knight of wands the ace of coins and faith okay Let's get some more detail. Tell me more, please, for my Virgos. We're in a new beginning here. We've been in this energy of trust and faith, waiting, taking action where we need to take it. Knight of Wands is supported by the High Priestess. Ace of Coins, Five of Pentacles, and Faith with Justice. Now, we had justice for the collective as well, so you've had justice twice. Tell you once, tell you twice. Okay, so you are in this energy, Virgo. We are in this energy of 
everything coming into balance, that what has been out of balance is balancing up. What was lacking is coming in. What was too much is coming down. We're coming into balance and fairness. If you've been looking at life through the lens of the victim, five of pentacles, woe is me, nobody loves me, it's not fair, life is shit, which we all have those pity party moments, it's okay, we just don't want to stay there too long. This is the week that it is moving out. We have the ace of coins, a new beginning. A new beginning in terms of security, stability, financial stability as well. If those of you have been not if those of you, those of you who have been struggling with money, we've got a new beginning here, a new beginning. Now, for some of you, this is a new job because we've got justice, which can be contracts and legal matters with the Knight of Wands, which is taking action on your career, job, business, also on your passion. For those of you single, waiting for love to come, a passion to come, and it's never, nobody loves me, it's never coming, right? No, this is the week you hold your faith. You do not give up. You do not walk away when you're two minutes from the finish line. You just hang on in there because that justice wants to bring the balance back in. Trust your higher self. Your higher self has been leading you, guiding you. Your intuition has been guiding you to the steps that you need to take. Knight of Wands is action. It's action on what's important to me in terms of job, career, business, uh, in terms of love, passion, connections. I've been listening to my inner guidance. It's taken some time, but I'm now in that ace of coins, a new beginning, a new beginning energy. I've held the faith, and so because of that, justice will now finally be served. <gasps> How lovely. Let's see what the angels want to add for my Virgos. Heaven's door. <gasps> Heaven's door, Virgo. You are opening the door to your own personal heaven, whatever that is for you. You know, the, the job that's just right, the person that's just right, the new friend that's just right, whatever it is for you, you are opening that door. You see the door there? She's walking towards the light and the door will open for her as she gets there. You are opening your own heaven's door this week. This is a long time coming for many of you, but this is a wonderful week, Virgo. I'm happy to be a Virgo this week. It's looking good, looking good. All right, thank you for being here, Virgo. I'll see you next time, bye-bye. Hello, Libra, how are you, my lovely people? You are starting off with the Queen of Wands. Have you had a good week? Are you well? Happy birthday. Okay, clearly we're having four cards for you because it's your birthday. Everybody else has had three, but they want to come, so we're going to take them. All right, you've got the Queen of Wands, the Six of Wands, the Ace of Wands, and the High Priestess. <gasps> Libra, this is a good week. A good week. Success there, right in the middle, and that new beginning with the ace let's see what else we can find out five of wands that's been coming up a lot king of swords and king of cups look at this power let's see what the angels want to add what have you got for my librans please what have you got for my librans truth all right now bearing in mind the collective message with justice which is truth and the king of swords which is very truthful very honest the energy around you this week that the angels are bringing in for you is truth clarity that sword of truth to cut through illusion confusion doubts fears we are in an energy of truth and we're sharing that truth we're communicating that truth the knight the king of swords is communication is integrity is truth is mentorship somebody helping you this can be a new boss with a new contract you've got the six of wands which is success recognition being seen with the ace of wands which is very much about a new beginning for many of you jobs career business for others of you love passion uh, igniting your own passion for life and for self from a position of power queen of wands queen of I'm coming, get out of my way. Nothing, nothing deters this woman, nothing. Male or female, don't worry about the gender, it's a general read. But this is you glowing up, showing up, being seen, being recognised, being noticed. 
And that is the Six of Wands energy being seen, being recognized, being noticed. So they're telling you twice here. Now, there is a little bit of arguing going on in and around this. The Five of Wands can be arguments and conflict, but it, as I said before, I think we had it for the collective, didn't we? Know your worth. The Five of Wands is often like, everybody's better than me, the competition's too strong, I don't stand a chance. It's that kind of negative self-talk that we want to talk ourselves out of, not into. So being in your power, being seen, noticed, recognised, coming into success, supported here by the King of Swords, so absolutely this can be somebody at work finally noticing you, offering you a promotion, or encouraging you to apply for a promotion, or a new job coming in, or a new love. We have the Ace of Wands with the High Priestess. There's a new beginning that is meant to be, fated, destined, it's the right time. And the High Priestess with it is saying, this has been led by your intuition, your higher self, your internal universe, guiding you towards that new beginning, which is very, very stable. The King of Cups, ruled by Saturn, stability, security, family, responsibility, but from a place of warmth and love and compassion and it being a happy, strong, loving energy that is beautiful this week. Absolutely beautiful. Let me know how this plays out for you, Leo, uh, Libra. I nearly called you Leo. Why did I do that? Mm. See if you've got any Leo in your chart. Go and have a look at that. Also be mindful of these cards. Clean it up and breathe. This is what needs cleaning up. Any arguments and conflicts in or around you, that needs to be cleaned up from a place of truth and honesty and integrity and compassion. Okay? There we go. That's your messages for this week. I hope that helps. Have an amazing week. I'll see you next time. Take care, Libra. Bye-bye. Hello, Scorpio. How are you, my lovely people? Let's see what we have for Scorpio this week. What's going on for my Scorpios, please? Okay, we have the Four of Coins, the Palace of Wands, and the Four of Cups. So you've got two fours. Fours are about stability. So let's find out some more. What do the angels want to add? All right, we want that one, which is Inner Child. Right, we're looking at the inner child this week. Let's find out some more about these cards, please. Tell me about the Four of Coins. Magician. Palace of Wands. Two of Pentacles. Four of Cups. Ten of Wands. Okay. All right. Scorpio, I want you to come at life this week from the eyes of the child right? This is what they're telling me to tell you guys, all right? Come at life from the eyes of a child. What does that mean? Children are wide-eyed and full of wonder. Children are full of innocence and trust. Children are full of imagination to be able to create and make things and also to play and have fun. So be in that energy of inner child this week because you are in your magic. You have the magician to be able to create Four of Coins is a card of feeling a little bit insecure, a little bit holding on a bit too tight, a little bit concerned about money and balance. We've got the Two of Pentacles, which is I'm trying to juggle things here. I might be trying to juggle home and work or responsibilities to one thing as well as another. I have been struggling with this Ten of Wands. It's been, this struggle has been quite challenging. And I want that to come to an end. It has taken some of the joy of life away, this struggle. Four of Cups, that mere card, me, thought it was going to be better than this, is actually not that great. I'm coping, I'm coping, but I'd like a little bit more. Absolutely, absolutely. Nothing wrong with liking a little bit more. But we need to step into our power our inner child innocence and power of imagination with the magician card to be able to write that balance. That's what needs cleaning up for you this week, Scorpio, is that we don't feel too insecure. We're not holding on so tightly that we're not allowing the magic to flow, 
right? So loosen the grip, allow the flow, and come to a place where you are feeling strong and empowered. Palace of Wands, usually for me this is home. It can be work for some of you with the Two of Pentacles. This is your place of work is very much out of balance and disillusioned and disappointed and too much of a struggle. If this is the case for you, this is what needs cleaning up, right? If this is about home, uh, because the Palace of Wands is a place where I feel uh, impassioned, where I feel empowered, where I feel in my power, where I feel very strong and assertive, it's out of balance. Is there too much strength, too much vulnerability? Where is, you know, the King and Queen of Wands live in the Palace of Wands, yeah? So the King and Queen of Wands are both very dynamic, very assertive, very go-getting, very ambitious. Is that balance out a little bit? That's what you're being asked to look at that needs cleaning up. So where is the balance out? There's a little bit of holding on too tight. There's a little bit of disillusionment. It's causing struggle. But with my magician energy and my inner child, I can clean it up and bring the balance in. Okay, that's what I have for you, Scorpio. I hope that helps. Thank you for being here. I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye. Alrighty, let's have a little look now at my Sagittarius. Hello Sagittarius, welcome, thank you for being here. How are you? How's your week been? I hope you are well. Okay, we have Four of Cups, Scorpio just had this, and it flipped out for you as well. Alright, we have the Palace of Swords, uh, no I'm not reading that reversed, and the Judgment card, okay, a Rebirth a new clarity, a new focus. Let's see what the angels want to add for you, Sagittarius. Transformation, okay. Transformation, you are transforming, you are cleaning something up here, you are releasing something which is not serving you. You are rising up from the ashes, from disappointment, disillusionment, resentment. We're coming into balance here, guys. Four of Cups, supported by the Fool, a new beginning. Palace of Swords with the Queen of Swords. And Judgment with Temperance. Beautiful. All right. So, Sagittarius, you are cleaning up, transforming, shifting and changing what has been a disappointment, a disillusion, a, a bit of a letdown. Right. It's not the end of the world, it's not the Three of Swords, but it is not a pleasant energy. I wanted more, I've been waiting for it, I haven't been quite sure what to do about it, but now, Palace of Swords, I'm in a place where I can see clearly, think clearly, I am supported by my Queen of Swords, my Queen of Truth and Clarity. The Palace of Swords is where the Queen of Swords lives. All right, the King and Queen of Swords lives in the Palace of Swords. So you're in this energy, it's air energy, it's very much in your mind, truth, clarity, focus, speaking your truth, being your truth, talking about what has been a disappointment, letting yourself really own that so that you can shift it, transform it, clean it up into a new beginning. The Fool, a leap of faith, a new start, a fresh start, moving you towards the Judgment and the Temperance card. Two major arcanas here about new beginnings. Three, new beginning, new beginning, new beginning. All right, so what we've got here, Judgment is a rising up from the ashes into a rebirth, a new you, a transformed you, a cleaned up you, which brings in balance and harmony and just a lovely settled energy. So last week's energy was very much about shifts and change and, and a little bit of chaos. Now we're moving into this beautiful harmony and balance, which is very new, very new for you. You need it, you deserve it, it's time. So a beautiful week of transforming cleaning up what needs to go and coming into a fresh new start that is lighter, brighter and much more balanced. Beautiful. That's what I have for you, Sagittarius. I hope that helps. Thank you for being here. I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.
All righty. Hello, Capricorn. How are you, my lovely people? Have you had a good week? Are you well? All right, let's have a look. What have we got for Capricorn for this week, please? Six of Coins, King of Cups, and Three of Pentacles. Okay, so we've got three and the Six of Coins. We're collaborating, we're in teamwork, we are receiving, and we're receiving from a place of love, strength, stability, and compassion. I love this for you. And from the angels, we have the I Am Beautiful card again, which we had for the collective. So they're telling you twice here, Capricorn, to be in this energy of beauty, recognition, being proud of yourself, loving yourself, being in a really beautiful, positive place. All right, let's find out some more. Tell me more, please, for my Capricorns for this week of the 11th. Okay. We've got the Hierophant, that's good. King of Cups with the Queen of Cups. And the Nine of Swords with the Three of Coins. Okay, so the Six of Coins here, this is the card of receiving, being open to receive. It's the card of giving and receiving, generosity, being open for something really beautiful, and really lasting to come your way. Now, for some of you, this is marriage. This is an offer of marriage that is for a beautiful soulmate couple, king and queen of cups. This is a, a beautiful match of balance, harmony, heart. It's just beautiful. Oh, sorry, I've just gone all gooey because that energy is just so lovely that I'm tapping into. You are receiving because you know that you are beautiful because you know who you are and you see your own light then others see it within you those of you coupled up your partnership your relationship this week is just so connected so close it just feels lovely those of you single open to a relationship you are absolutely in a lovely energy of potentially opening up to meet your soulmate. So what needs cleaning up for you, because the cleaning up and the breathe card are here for everybody, is this Nine of Swords. There's been some discourse around teamwork, collaboration, support, Three of Pentacles. This is also the card of teaching, showing, uh, mentoring. There has been some worries about this, the Nine of Swords, sleepless nights, what are you worrying about, Capricorn? What's in the way? What is concerning you here with that three of coins? Do you feel that you're being uh, overshadowed? You're not listened to? You're not supported? What is worrying you here? This could also be there is support here. You're working on a big project and you're worrying about it. You're lying awake at night planning and not being able to switch off so we want to be able to switch off we want to be able to step back and breathe and breathe all right so you may be lying awake at night planning and plotting a new kitchen or which is what i was doing last night when i could sleep <laughs> whatever it is something's keeping you awake so we want to be able to let it go and breathe and step back into your beauty of into your beautiful into your I am beautiful. A, a, a lovely week here. I love the Hierophant for you with that six of coins. You are receiving something that is a higher knowledge, a higher awareness, something that is very stable and secure. This can be contracts as well. There is something coming your way here that is going to balance you up as well. The king and the queen, this is you coming into yourself as well in a very balanced masculine feminine way, being able to take this forward, this receiving. So it's a lovely week for you, Capricorn. Good, good. All right, my lovelies, have an amazing week. I'll see you next time. That's the wrong deck. Okay. All right. Hello, Aquarius. Welcome. Thank you for being here. We're not ready. All right. Let's see what we have for Aquarius, please, for this week of the 11th. One more. Okay, Aquarius, we have the Nine of Wands, the Six of Coins, that just came out for Capricorn, and the Five of Wands. I think we had the Five of Wands for the collective, didn't we? 
So we are receiving. We like this. We're coming to the end of a struggle. We like that too. But there's still a little bit of conflict competition around, which is what needs cleaning up for you, Aquarius. Okay. Now, the nine, nine of Wands is supported by the Ten of Swords. We're definitely coming to the end of this cycle. Six of Coins is supported by the Page of Wands. And the Five of Wands is supported by the Ace of Swords. Lovely. A new beginning. Good, good. Let's see what the angels want to add for you, Aquarius. Believe. I love this card. This is about faith and trust and believing in yourself. Believing that you deserve to have a life that's harmonious and easy. Ease, ease, easy is something that I will chant to myself whenever life starts to get a little bit difficult. I align with ease and the difficulties melt away. They just asking me to tell you that. So energy of belief. Now, what needs cleaning up? What do you need to breathe about? You've got the nine of wands supported by the ten of swords. Difficulty, battle weary soldier. It's been exhausting. I can't take any more. I've had enough. This is done. I'm putting it behind me. I'm moving on. There's been a struggle here, Aquarius, a struggle that you have hung on in there because you believe, because you kept positive. But this is the week we're cleaning up this energy and moving into the six of coins with the page of wands yes all right six of coins this is you receiving giving and receiving being open to receive this can be an offer of a job we've got the page of wands underneath it here the opportunity doors opening to be able to be receiving so page of wands can also be receiving um offers and opportunities that is linked to love and passion, to something you're passionate about, a cause, uh, a hobby, an interest, something you're passionate about is coming your way. And as it comes your way, you're able to let go of the struggle here and move towards this new beginning. Now, the struggle isn't all over immediately we've got some work to do to clean it up because we still have the five of wands present so what part of me don't i believe is worthy or deserving or good enough is there a part of me that's lost a bit of faith because this is you know competition and low self-worth and just hassle and difficulty this is what needs to go this is what's being cleaned up these two are going to kind of clean themselves up all right, because you've got the six of coins of the page of wands, everything opening up for you to receive. That's going out. But this is what you need to clean up. This competition, this any arguments, discourse around you because they want you in a new beginning. Ace of Swords. This is a beautiful card for you, Aquarius. A new beginning. I can think clearly. I'm sharp. I'm focused. You know, the Ten of Swords is a this is hard. We've been through hardship here, which is why I was saying about ease, ease, easy. There's hardship here. And then the next card along when this is done is the ace. We are done with this. This is done. This is going to finish itself. But this is the bit you've got to do. OK. All right, my darling Aquarius. That's what I have for you for this week. I hope that helps. Have an amazing week and I'll see you next time. You take care. Bye bye. Ah, righty, hello Pisces, how are you, my beautiful people? Let's see what we have for you. What do we have for my Pisces for this week of the 11th, please? Okay, thank you. All right, we've got the five of wands again. This has come out for about half of the signs. So, and I think it was in the collective, wasn't it? Six of coins. So, I'm shuffling. These two cards just came out for Aquarius. So let me just shuffle again. You can see me shuffling. So they obviously want to come out for you. Pisces, Ace of Coins. Okay, good. We are moving towards a new beginning. And the angels want to add truth. Okay, truth. Your inner an energy of truth, that sword of truth to cut through illusion, confusion, insecurity, arguments, because we've got the five of wands there. We're in our truth. All right, let's find out some more. We knew there was going to be something there because we've got the clean up card. So what are we going to clean up for you? It's this. Let's have a little look. 
Right, lovely. Okay, good. So, in this truth, we're cleaning up what has been arguments, difficulties, any sense in me of competition, of I have to battle, I have to fight. Many of us get into this belief of the battle. Life is hard. Oh my God, it's just so hard. Of course, when we're in that energy, we keep attracting more struggle and more difficulty and more challenges. So the mantra I use for myself and my clients when life is difficult, because it will, it's not always smooth sailing, is it? Sometimes it is a bit rocky, but get into an energy of ease when it's difficult, which I know isn't easy, but you say to yourself, my life gets easier and easier every day in every way. And you just keep chanting it. And it, I promise you, it will change the outcome, all right? So it's been difficult, it's been challenging, but we are cleaning that up. What has been a struggle is wanting to go. It's supported by the Nine of Pentacles. And this is a card of independence. I can do it. I can provide for myself. She's the mini empress, so she's very creative. She's perfectly capable of taking care of herself financially and emotionally. But there has been some conflict around this. This conflict could be within you saying, I don't want to give up my independence. I, I don't want to let anybody else tell me what to do. Um, I don't like taking orders or instructions. And I can relate to all of that. I get it because I'm this. But we need to sometimes cooperate, collaborate, listen to others, allow other people to help us, allow people to give to us rather than, no, I can do it, yeah? That's what I feel for you, Pisces, is the conflict here about allowing yourself to receive because it's next to the six of coins, which is the receiving card. This is generosity. This is people helping you, supporting you, valuing you, giving you, and giving you more than enough. Now, there's a new cycle wanting to come in here. This is karma, fated, destined, meant to be. This is the time for you to receive. But there's resistance to that receiving. And that resistance is creating more of the struggle, which you don't need to have. You just don't need to have. So I want you to be truthful with yourself. Am I resisting help and support? Am I pushing people away? Am I too fiercely independent that actually I'm putting a wall up between me and the world? Because that's what I need to clean up. I need to be truthful with myself about this. And I need to let myself be open to receive, which is going to move me into a much better space. I've got the Ace of Coins a new beginning in terms of prosperity, success, security, a new beginning. We don't have to have that struggle. We don't have to have the burden. We can move towards a new beginning that is much easier, much more flow, much more allowing it to go rather than having to fight for everything. Life doesn't have to be a battle, Pisces. I promise you. So clean it up. This belief that life is hard and difficult in a battle. Be truthful with yourself. Allow yourself to breathe, meditate, take a step back and be open to receive. All right, my darlings, that is what I have for you. I hope that helps. Thank you for being here. Have an amazing week and I will see you next time. Take care. Bye bye.